boxes at the restaurant told her they not to go through with it. After she did, she says they told her to come back to work when her hair grows back. Jennifer Wright is the fundraiser coordinator for the local chapter of the Cancer Society. She says this is the first time in the Cops for Cancer history... My name is Jen DeCrassi. One way I look at the news is as a collection of cautionary tales. In May of 2008, when an international story broke about a waitress who was dismissed from her job after shaving her head, I wondered what this said about women's progress. I was skeptical that this was simply a couple of bad guy restaurant owners versus Stacy Fernell, a woman who was only trying to raise money for cancer. Nathaniel owners Dan and Jeff didn't do much to fight this typecasting. They weren't going to justify their actions to me or anyone. But they did issue this apology. For what? They didn't say. Well, I needed to understand. So, I headed up to a town called Owen Sound. This is a really pretty place. At first blush, the people seem nice. It has this great small town vibe, like they're all one big happy family. But I wanted to see if there was some fallout within this family. To find out if this community at large found the sight of a woman's shaved head so offensive. What did you guys think of your mom's bald head? She looked like daddy! <laughs> yeah! The Sun Times had called, uh, had spoken to Dan and Jeff, and then had arranged an interview with Stacy. So it was pretty overwhelming at first. Neither one of us knew how to handle it, knew what to do exactly. Well, I thought that my value in being a responsible employee, as well as being part of their small family for two years, would be more important. But that's not what happened. And I remember even when the story came out, there was that concern, you know, how are people going to think of Owen Sound now that this is, you know, the big story that is, you know, everyone's going to connect to Owen Sound. And it's a very business-oriented restaurant, business lunches. I mean, there aren't a lot of options <laughs> as well. So I think people don't want to, they don't want to be wrong in the public's eye by criticizing me, but they don't want to make Dan angry or offend him in some way. You know, I got to feel sorry for Dan and Jeff. They have to compete in a tough industry. And I think the media attention caught them off guard. And now they just wanted the issue, and me, to go away. Work all the summer, work all the fall. With time and distance, I thought that more people would be ready to talk about the incident. Instead, I found that people were much more concerned that I didn't get the wrong impression about their town. This was a family that put on their best face. No, nothing really happens in Owen Sound. I mean, I got a, I got a parking ticket the other day. And I love the look of the houses, the downtown. It was, it was love at first sight. I couldn't get over what a beautiful community it was. Well, one of the things that I think makes Owen Sound unique is that we have an escarpment. One thing that's very, very important to this community is its waterfront. We have a spectacular waterfront. And we have a lot of parks. The Bruce Trail goes right by our doorstep. It's a place where artists, craftspeople, they lo love to come here. This wonderful little city. This is how I love to live. I couldn't be happier than what's right here. Yes, and now I was becoming a pain in their ass. I wanted to talk about Stacy Fernell, not take the package tour of Owen Sound. It was time to be more direct. Poke in what? Poke in the eye, like in the pride of Owen Sound. <clears throat> no, it just the incident just the incident happened, and it was covered the way it was covered, and and uh, uh, there may be people who feel that it was a poke in the eye. I don't know. I don't feel that way at all. It's just it, it happened. Well, did you hear about this incident where, like, the one waitress in town got laid off from her job for shaving her head? I did, yes. Would you ever shave your head? If I thought I wanted to, yes. So you're kind of in support of this woman that did this? I'm in support, but she also knew the consequences before she did it as well, so you have to look at both sides.
But why did it have to come down to losing her job? The clear winners were the Canadian Cancer Society. I asked a representative what she thought of the incident. It was an unfortunate circumstance. It raised a huge amount of public awareness. It brought a lot of attention maybe to the community of Owen Sound that maybe a lot of the people here didn't welcome. Okay, who are these Owen Sounders? When I first moved up here, the people that were buying in the community were people that were retiring from farms. But over the last few years, we've had an influx of people that are retiring from the city and moving up here for semi-retirement. Why did I come here? That's right. Um, yeah, okay, so the question was, why did I come here? My heart brought me here. I hear a whistle, I hear a moan Must be my baby coming home I get up at 5 o'clock every morning, seven days a week. I come out and I turn my kettle on. And I have a campfire for the rest of the day. Play music. Talk about music. Oh, wait a minute, I don't talk to anybody because I don't see, don't see anyone. There's traffic, but there's not much. Um, very few people drop in. It's just peaceful. It's quiet. So we started looking up here, and within two years, I think we had bought... Uh... We couldn't afford waterfront. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we, we didn't want farms. waterfront. Yeah, we, we wanted, wanted privacy. A, we wanted quiet. We wanted to be far enough that the town wouldn't catch up with us. We call it the farm. We don't call it the country place. We call it the farm. But it's not a luxury. And they'll say, well, do you have animals? And we'll say, well, no. Well, what do you do there? You know, sort of like, well, do you have an hour? Because we don't stop. Ann Marsh Evans, who's a local painter, has a daughter. Her name is Cynthia Marsh. Cynthia's my inn. If you have a friend like that, then they vouch for you. So you think it's a matter of just doing your time? and earning Oh, your God, stories? yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to do your time. You just don't come and go. I mean, you gotta stick around. Well, maybe I could relate another experience to you, and, and I know you're gonna find this amusing. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for coming out. I met Carolyn Menzies, who runs a poetry slam. It goes on once a month at uh, the downtown bookstore. She said, next time, you're doing a poem. In the summer of next, we have... Um... Okay. <laughs> uh, Jen... Um... Decress, is it? Pretty good, yeah. Good. Yeah. Hi everybody, I'm Jennifer Decressy. I'd like to thank Caroline for inviting me in. So, I read my poem, I was very nervous. The, my, my pitch went up, you know, an octave. Dear Owen Sound, wish you were here? Signed, Cur curious and confused. If you have any feedback, or if you have anything to, to say about my poem or, or uh, the incident, um, I'd be happy to take it. I need the help. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, let's hope that the cold snap doesn't uh, affect everybody the way it has in your poem. Um, next we have Neil. And so it began to dawn on me. These people didn't want to speak to me, and they didn't. Here I was in, in a group of artists and performers. Oh, I see, and they would love to be on camera because, okay, you, I got you. You thought you had whittled down to a, a group of people who might be more comfortable being... A liberal group of people. A liberal group of people, okay. Yeah, I see your point there, and yet even they wouldn't talk. I'll go back to my Cynthia story, uh, which is very true. Cynthia's very careful what she says to people because she knows that what she says will be down the street before she is, about anybody. I was missing a certain sensitivity about how things worked up here. I tried rephrasing my questions. I want to remind you that when I originally came up here, what, what got me was the news story about the woman that was dismissed from the restaurant. Did that hurt anybody's pride that nobody wanted to address it? I don't think that uh, you can really, really even get a, an idea of how proud this community is. And uh, it, 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 that's 
what you're finding is that it is a community with a great deal of pride and on all different levels and it's as simple as that. Okay. All right. You should go there for dinner. You've asked me if I'd like to go to Nathaniel's, to, uh, to Nathaniel's in Own Sound with you for dinner. I'd love to. I might have to brush my hair for that. No, not that. at all. Not at all. Not at all. You don't think so? No, not well. Maybe put no. on a skirt? She I'm not legs. sure. No, I, lo uh, I love a hairy woman. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a date. We're going, darling. Honestly, Barry and I had a great meal. While I was there, I thought I might as well try again to get the owners to open up. Access denied. But a couple of days later, I was returning Dan's call. Morning, Nathaniels. Hi, I'm looking for Dan. Speaking. Dan, hi, this is Jennifer. You know, it happened. We want to carry on with our lives. I'm sure the Fernells are the same. And let's just get on with it. We're, we're all friends, and you know, we're employers, employees, and we all get along, and, you know, that's where the hardest part was. We had a customer call us. Um, well, they made a point of calling us and saying that, you know, there was this lady around asking questions about what's going on and at a little coffee house, and according to them, nobody got up to talk about it. And I said to Jeff at that point that... Um, and that's when you know, I realized Dan modern. wasn't the outsider. I was. The fact that this incident became a national or international story, I think, frightens people who are in a small town or in a, away from and out of the mainstream of media for a reason. They want their privacy. And men shave their head regularly. We do a double take when a woman does it still, but it's a personal choice. Why do you think short hair bothers people so much when a woman shaves her head? I don't know, it shouldn't bother people. It's just hair. Yeah. Out of a nation sack. Well, now she's gone. And I don't worry because I'm Owen Sound. On top of the world. You're so beautiful. Well, bye -bye, baby. But in the end, you're a small you town. I like to operate in a different but kind of space. I guess we'll never be like family. She's gone. And, I don't worry because I'm and you don't air your dirty laundry to outsiders, do you? I get that now. I hear a whistle, I hear a moan Must be my baby coming home Well, she's been down in Tupelo Singing that riverboat song She is a dancer, a river queen She teaches them gamblers most anything Well, she's been down in Tupelo Singing that riverboat song I've been in nights I spent alone Many days Ain't nobody home Many times I wish she was here Yeah, that riverboat whistle blows I know she's getting near River captain Bring my baby home I get so lonesome since she's been gone. Well, she's been down in Tupelo singing that riverboat song. A many nights I spent alone.